Hi, hello all. Welcome to GNG Holdings. Today we are going to see our next strategy in crude oil on inventory days. Okay, so let's let me explain the strategy first. Uh, this is 30 minute candle. Okay, on the inventory days, wait for the inventory output. Exactly, they will announce mostly by 8 o'clock. Uh, let them finish their inventory data. Once the, the inventory data output released, wait for the first 30 minute candle. We going to enter after 8 p.m. Okay, uh, just mark the 8 o'clock high and uh, low on 30 minute candle. Breaking the higher side, we going to take by breaking the lower candle, we going to take the sell. And uh, let's, uh, I mean, investing the come side. Here we will be having all the weeks uh, entry data output. The last week it was 9 o'clock. If it is 9 o'clock, we have to avoid the trade. And Next week it's 9.30. The, that day also we are not going to take our entry. So we have to take only the 8 o'clock as our entries. Okay? Because we don't have much time to finish our trades. Because if it is 9 o'clock output, we are going to take our entry by 9.30. So from 9.30 we have only one and a half hours or two hours only to complete the trade. So that better avoid the trade. As per the research also, those days not going well. Only the 8 o'clock output uh, of inventory data, uh, the trades do uh, giving good results. Okay, so let's avoid the strict trade. Let's go to October 30. And here we are at October 30. Let's get close. Okay, this is the 8 o'clock candle. Just uh, have a look at the high and low. Let me mark it. So the eight o'clock candle high is 3932, low is 3998. So the difference between the high and low is 34 points. Okay. If it is more than 60 points, we have to avoid the trade because don't try to the trade. The range is more than 60 points because there itself the move will be over. We, do, we won't be getting anything after that uh, 830 PM candle, low or high. Okay, so just take the candle, just make sure uh, we are entering with a range lesser than 60 points. Here the range is 34 points. We have to place our order just two points below the high or low. Place uh, one buy order at 39.34 and one more sell order at 38.96. Okay, so here. And our target is 50 to 50 points. Say player just put your uh, uh, 15 or 20 points. If you want more, just uh, uh, try to stop loss to your cost price and wait for the bigger targets. Mostly it will give 25 to 40 points uh, easily. And uh, sometimes it won't go. So better book your profits. And uh, you can ask, hey, the stop loss is 34 points. Why you should keep... Uh, Book my profits at 15 or 20 points. Uh, are, are those uh, will be there? They want one is to one, or one is to two. And uh, so you have to understand this is just for inventory trade, and uh, we're going to finish our trade in hours or few minutes. So don't expect uh, it to give you returns like fixed deposit or any term plans. This is trade. Okay. The stop loss is just to avoid the maximize the loss. Uh, to save our capital, that that is what we are keeping stop losses here. Here, the stop loss is not to give you one is to one reward or one is to two reward amount. So you have to uh, understand that. So here, the stop loss is thirty six points. So don't wait for thirty six points. If you're getting fifteen to twenty points, or if the target is okay for you, you can book. As well as you can try your stop loss to your cost or uh, from the stop loss, you can try your stop loss to a little lower from the actual stop loss and wait for the uh, some bigger targets. So let's see here. Here the actual high is 39.32. So we're going to place a buy at 39.34. Low is 38.98. So our sell uh, price range is 38.96. So from there, even if it is 20 points, uh, it will be around uh, 76. Let's see the low. Here the low is 71. So maximize low is 70. So almost we are getting 26 points. So like I mentioned before, 25 points we will get easily here. So those who want to uh, work happier with the 25, uh, 15 points, they will be booking here itself, here or here itself. 
will be booking the targets okay so once you got your target uh, uh, the 25 points or 15 points just immediately try try your uh, stop loss to the cost price and wait for the bigger move if there is no bigger move just try to close it uh, at the cost price and don't carry the positions for next day as well as don't hold uh, after 11 o'clock just try to close your positions before 11 o'clock itself because after 11 o'clock there will be volatility will be there we will be uh, just don't uh, close your uh, positions in loss just try to book it as much as profit as possible okay and now they change the time schedule from 11:30 they have increased to 11:55 so we have to see in coming days we because we got extra 25 minutes of trades so we have to see how the moves are going in coming days and uh, so better avoid like i mentioned before avoid taking entries in the 8:30 or uh, put or uh, 9 o'clock or put that's of the less time to finish our position so let's take the next date of okay and before that uh, inventory day output uh, was 23rd so let's go to 23rd and then. here on uh, for 30 we got profits 25 points we got uh, here this is 23rd day 23rd output on Eight o'clock. This is the eight o'clock candle. Here, let's mark the high and lows. Let's check the candle range. Here, the high is three nine one eight, low is three nine seven two. So, which is here twenty eight and eighteen thirty six forty six points. So, forty six is uh, our uh, trading range only. Because this is uh, lesser than 60 points, so we have to place our buy bid at uh, 39.20 as well as sell bid at 38.70. Here we will, the chart itself saying it went uh, up above uh, buy side, and from 20 it moved uh, up till 39.45. So from 20 we got the 25 points before 11 o'clock. Okay, after 11 o'clock it went a few more also. So better, like I mentioned, try to close your positions for 11 o'clock, and here we got that 25 points the targets. Same players can book at 15 point targets itself, same players can book their profits. So, same points, uh, same players might be getting here itself. Okay, once you got the safe targets of 15 to 20 points, just immediately try your stop loss to cost price. Better don't uh, close the trade in a uh, negative. Let's check the next. Uh, so before that uh, 23rd uh, it was 8:30 candle so let, that is not our trading day because 8:30 we are not going to trade any entry only we are going to consider the 8 o'clock output and uh, next is 9 o'clock sorry 9 o'clock anyway let's check the output on uh, 17th also 8:30 how it went we are just going to see don't consider uh, Put the cattle. Here you can see it. Eight thirty output came. So eight thirty to nine o'clock. This candle will go over by nine o'clock. If it is 8.30, then our entry might be at 9 o'clock, right? So here we will be going to take our entry. You can see clearly see here, this is a stop loss that day. So there is no move because it gave a, at first it gave a sell here. From the low 69, it went till 60 only. See, and again it moved up. It may be the stop loss day. So that is what I am telling here. Don't take if the output is coming by 8:30, or if not at 8 o'clock. Okay, we're going to consider only the 8 o'clock output. Just leave the day the entry output, uh, inventory output is coming on 8:30, 9 o'clock or 9:30. Let's check the previous inventory output. This on 9 o'clock, 9 October. Yeah, here the 8 o'clock inventory. 
Here the high is 3994, 3794, low is 3764. And here the range is 24, 27 points. Okay, 27. And here we are going to place a sell order at 3765. And we are going to place a buy order at 3796. From that 25 points is our target, right? So you can see it went uh, within uh, one hour itself we got our profits here. From 96, uh, the 25 points saves a target, uh, which is here itself. We got the next half an hour itself we got the uh, target place. Okay. So those who are uh, expecting more, uh, they might be not getting anything here. And even the previous occasion, it's giving the 25 points uh, Easily. Save players, book 15 points, or if you want more, just tell the star plus to cast. Wait for the 25 points. Or more, it is our day. Let's see the previous. It is on October 2nd. October 2nd is holiday for us. Here, the morning sessions will not be available. So, better don't take, uh, we don't have morning sessions. Because we have only very less day to play. It won't work also. I have checked it with the previous data. October 2nd. The October 2nd actually holiday for us. No evening sessions also available to trade. So that is not a trading day. Let's take the previous. It's on September 20th. Go there. Here it is September 25th. Entry came at here at uh, 8 o'clock. This is 8 o'clock candle. Let's see the high and low. High is 4010, low is 3960, so which is 50 points. Like 50 points is lesser than 60 points, so it, that is actually a trading day. Uh, 4010 means we have to place our order at 4012. 40, from 4012, it went uh, only 15 points. There is no that 15 point target, but safe players could have booked that 15 point target because it went at 15 points. But there is no that uh, safe trade of 25 points. So, here you can see it doesn't went to stop loss as well as targets. Here, what we have to do is just wait, like I mentioned, we have to close our trade by 4 11 o'clock. Okay, if we don't get a target hit by 10 30, wait for our cast exit price, just try to exit. Your trade around cost price. So here this is 10 o'clock, this is 10 30 candle, 10 to 10 30 candle. Here you can see the high is 4011. Here just try to book at a cost. That's it. Don't uh, even some 100 or 200 losses okay. Because on the other occasions we are getting good profits. Right? So this uh, 100 to 200, even 300 points is losses okay. Try to close around cost price. Here, safe players might be exit at cost or they may be booking the 15 points profits here. Okay, so next, uh, watch that. Yes, there. Previous week was September 18 and September 11. Let's move to those days. September 18. Here, the asset here. Here you can see the high is 398, low is sorry, 4198, low is 4125, which is more than 60 points, guys. Uh, because um, from 25 to 85, yeah, which is 60 plus 70, 73 point almost. So that is not a trading game. You can see it doesn't went well also. Here, after 10 30, only we are getting 10 o'clock, only we are getting entry. But also didn't move in there. So that is why we are not taking the stop losses more than 60 points. Let me zoom it. The candle high 4198 high 4125 this is 73 point range. So we are not going to take our entries there. So that is no trading day. Let's move to September 11, which is previous week. September 11, Premium Trading. Here it is. The high is 4154, low is 4101. So, which is 53 point days. So, 
which is lesser than 60 points so we can trade as per our strategy 4101 means we have to place our entry sell entry at 4099 buy entry at 4156 two point higher or lesser than the actual range and uh, if it went so well that day 4109 to almost 100 point 110 points it went same players might have booked with 15 points those normal traders can book the 25 points like i mentioned we can try your stop loss to cost for the bigger money so here that that day is our day previous day previous week was uh, actually that september 25th was stop loss now so we'll be in my minus of 400 before the week we are getting, getting with some huge profits okay so let's take one more week and uh, you do your research uh, manual manually with uh, charts available with you because we have uh, with uh, this is uh, ME broker we have six month data with all the six month data it will consume more time hope you guys understand the strategy let's see one more week and uh, you do your personal research and manual uh, back testing before you go into trade um, initially start trade with uh, mini mini you can go with two or two lot or four lot just book the half lot uh, at the 15 point target hold the second half for uh, 25 point target once it goes to 25 point book there or uh, try your numbers to cost you can wait for bigger target or you can book the 25 point target targets before 12 it was 830 and again only 830 the inventory output is 830 like i mentioned before we are not going to take our entry there so august 28 is only our entry days so let's check the set of percent uh, August 28 before closing or like here we are at September 4th. Inventory output is at 8:30. See there. Uh, Inventory output came here. It was lesser than our 60 points, so we pulled well. But like uh, in our strategy, we are not going to take any entries if the inventory output data is coming after it is This week it went well, but previous week we saw that day was, was a big stop loss. So better avoid. Take only the 8 o'clock inventory. And let's go to this 28. Here we are at August 28. Let's check this. Here, I is 4078, low 4073. So the range here is 78 and almost uh, 40, 40. 35 points. Okay. So which is our no trading range. We have to place a buy at 4080. And uh, sell at 4041. From there, 15 points for safe traders and 25 points for normal traders. From 41, uh, 25 point is 4015. 4016. 4015. 4016. So we got 4012. 25 points easily came here. Okay, guys. 15 point safe players also might be booking the candle. Except 25 points also achieved here and uh, those who trial the stop loss it may be hit here or uh, yeah, high is 4043 yeah if you trial the stop loss because you can see this is a hammer reversed well to the cost price so if you book the 25 points we got the profit else uh, else it went a little later only it moved some 40 to 50 points here okay, guys, let me explain the strategy once again we are ending here. Let's not go for all the six months of available charts because it will consume more time by watching the video. Let's uh, let me explain once again. Now here are the conditions I have uh, just to watch it. Okay, don't trade. The morning session is holiday. We, uh, sometimes the uh, US market will be open. Sometimes our uh, Indian market will not be, be holiday for us. 
so that time we will be having only the evening sessions from 5 o'clock to 7:30 and from from the speak we have till 11:30 so don't trade those days the inventory is on that day uh, trade only the full day market day like our if we have morning session and evening session trade only those days avoid the day if we have a morning session is only okay next is don't trade if the inventory output is after Uh, it's not eight o'clock. Okay, sometimes it will come eight thirty. Sometimes it will come nine o'clock, even nine thirty also. So if it is nine, if it is coming by eight thirty, it we will we have to wait for the first thirty minutes. So then only we going to enter. So our entry must be at nine o'clock. From nine o'clock, we don't have much time to close our trade. And uh, as per my research uh, from the back test, I have I have seen some uh, the this eight thirty output or nine thirty output is hitting the stop losses. So better avoid the trade if the inventory data is not coming on 8 8 p.m. Okay, trade take only the 8 p.m. inventory output day days. That day only we going to take our entry. Wait for the first 30 minutes. Mark the high and low of the 8 o'clock candle of 30 minutes. Just place two points above or two point lesser than the actual high and low. From there our target is 15 25 or bigger than that. Once you achieve the 15 or 20 points, immediately trial your Uh, stop loss to cost. Like I mentioned before, don't carry the positions after 11 p.m. Mostly intraday trades we have to close by 10:55, and from this week we can, we have time till 11:55. Even though just try to close your trade by 11 p.m. We after the entry which execution, wait for our targets. If the not if the 15 points also not achieved, just try to close your positions around cost price. Okay, that do that do that before 11 p.m. And stop losses must be. Don't trade without stop loss, and don't carry the positions for next day. Oh, I will get uh, some profits for the next day. No, just don't think. Even the if if you want to do your personal trade, do your personal trade separately. Don't confuse it with our trades. Okay, stop losses. For example, uh, uh, if we see here, it went uh, for the sell side. If it is sell side, buy side is your stop loss. For example, uh, uh, we are going to sell at four zero four one. Our stop loss is four zero seven eight. Just keep your stop loss here. Once hitting the fifteen point or twenty five point target, just immediately try your stop loss to cost to price, so that we will we won't be sitting with any losses. Expect the brokerages. Okay. And next uh, condition is, yeah, don't include any other technical indicators or technical or uh, fundamentals these things in our trade. Just simple. Just wait for thirty minutes. Take the entry as per the 30 minute breakout. That's it. As well as don't depend on inventory output. Uh, Though if the the inventory output was positive, why I don't wait for the buy side after the 30 minute high? Or if the inventory data is highly negative for the price, why I don't wait for the sell? Just don't uh, look at the output and all that. Whatever the output, just wait for the 30 minute. At the minute higher low, we are going to take our entry. The target, like I mentioned, 15-20 by up to 50 points is giving there. Same players can book at 15 points. Normal traders can wait for 25 points. 20-25 points is easily hit. Stop loss. I have never seen any stop losses in the 8 o'clock output uh, inventory output. I think only one day I saw a stop loss. So that one day also that 40 or 50 points stop loss. Hope we are getting all the days profits. We will compensate the stop loss. If you are getting any stop loss for this week, just do double the quantity for the next week, so that we can we'll be can recover our capital. Avoid the stop loss. Avoid the trade if the stop loss is more than 60 points. Like I mentioned before, if the trade if the first 30 minute candle of the 8 o'clock range is more than 60 points, better avoid the day. Don't take any position. We have seen that day one day was 92 points stop loss. Yeah, 93 points stop loss came that day. It hit uh, stop loss, and one day there is no move itself. It was trading uh, it was a sideways market because the first 30 minutes itself it moves so well. Because after 8:30 we won't be getting any moves, so that's why better don't take entry. The stop loss is more than 60 points. Okay, and that's it, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like, subscribe our channel, and we have uh, some daily giving trading calls also. And uh, Go through there our YouTube channel. There I am giving future calls only along with charts, daily I'm giving and uh, uh, almost 70-30 is going well. 
very few stop losses only we are getting if the stop losses are uh, high you can trade the calls in options or cash cash calls if the stop loss is so less just use your own stop loss or uh, increase the stop loss based on the trend just check our uh, this videos also give me a like if you like this video and share it with your friends thanks for watching